After arriving in Thailand for his honeymoon 11 weeks ago, Hakim Al Arabi is finally able to return to Australia, his adopted home. The longer he spent in prison in Bangkok, the more concern grew that he could be sent back to Bahrain instead. The footballer said he'd be tortured or killed if that happened. After an international outcry, Bahrain dropped its extradition request. Hakim fled Bahrain for Australia in 2014, avoiding a 10-year jail sentence for vandalism, which he says is politically motivated. News of his release was welcomed in Australia, where he has asylum status. As Prime Minister, I'm pleased Hakim is coming home, and I'll be pleased to see him at home when that occurs. Despite having travel documents and a Thai visa, he was arrested when he and his wife landed in Bangkok in November. There are several unanswered questions about this case, particularly surrounding the issuing of an Interpol red notice against his name, which was requested by Bahrain. But given that Hakim Al Arabi had asylum status in Australia, that notice should never have been granted. The red notice was granted on the same day that Hakim received a Thai visa, raising suspicions about the Thai government's involvement. The foreign ministry in Bangkok said it didn't notify Bahrain about the footballer's plans. But as the case dragged on, the pressure on the Thai government grew. After a trip to Bahrain by the Thai foreign minister, Hakim was freed, bringing an end to an ordeal that shouldn't have been allowed to happen. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.